Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Forever Food Forest Garden Tour. Hi, I'm Christina and this is Forever Food Forest, a channel dedicated to my journey of trying to grow food here in Zone 9B in Florida. There's one catch though, and that is I don't use pesticides, herbicides, or commercial fertilizers. I'm trying to do this all using permaculture principles. So stay tuned and watch my challenges and tribulations. It's the end of August, which means it's the beginning of our fall growing season. So let me show you around. Our food forest is located on roughly a quarter acre, or as I like to call it, a sandbar in the middle of a swamp. I started growing food on this property just under a year ago. I convinced my partner to set up several garden beds. Then I went to a big box store and got bags of organic soil. I transplanted my seedlings into the mix. They stayed stunted for weeks. The soil was just bad. It was contaminated. After that, I decided that I'm going to work on improving my own native soil through amendments. That's why I have this giant pile that I've been turning for the last nine months. It's ready to be harvested. Right here is my super fancy irrigation system. Rain falls from the roof in here. This 55 gallon drum catches it. And then on the bottom, there's a faucet. So I just turn this on and I can use it to fill my buckets or to just take it around the garden and water like that. Um, there's probably a much easier way of rigging this up where I don't have, you know, to put as much work. But for now, this, this gets the job done. So this right here is where I'm building a banana ring. I have another video coming up on it. So if you want to learn more about it, follow that. But that's what this is happening here. It's a work in progress. This spot was covered in weeds. So I covered it in wood chips and that took care of 90% of the weeds. And now when I need to plant, I just move the wood chips out of the way and plant directly into the ground. Cicadas. Here in Florida, we have a huge problem with bugs. So one way to fight bugs is with predatory insects. And I grow a lot of plants in my food forest that attract predatory insects. Welcome to the edge of the food forest. Right here we have over a dozen junipers that act as a natural insect repellent. Another thing that helps us keep insects away naturally is this giant camphor tree. Another plant that insects can't stand lemongrass. Let's make some compost tea. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Pucifer. Pucifer is a stray cat that comes to the food forest. He's the protector and hunter. Right here I have some catnip growing especially for him. Catnip also keeps mosquitoes away and cats nearby. If I were a rodent, I would not want to encounter him on a dark night. He's ferocious. Right here I have a moringa tree. Right here I have a Meyer lemon tree. Right here is my tropical shaded garden. In it I have shampoo ginger, three different types of turmeric, uh, blue turmeric, white turmeric, and regular orange turmeric. And this here is my favorite plant in this whole patch because it's just so whimsical. It's an Australian tree fern and I think it just really ties the whole forest theme together. And this is a coffee plant. Right here I have my container strawberry patch. What is this? Right here I have loofah squash. It grows loofahs for bathing. And um, 
I kind of just threw a bunch of seeds in here. They weren't doing so well. I forgot about it and I came back about two weeks ago and this whole thing just took off. Here I started some corn and beans. They need to be thinned out. And I also have some borage and sunflowers. I'm also starting a bunch of uh, soil building crops. I got comfrey, I got mullein, I got wild nettles. Look, I realize I don't have one of the prettiest gardens on YouTube, but keep in mind that I'm also self-funded. A lot of my plants were either given to me as cuttings or I started from seed. A lot of my buckets and sprayers I found in the garbage and I try to recycle as many things as I can and it's very rare that I buy things for the garden. And I just want you to know that you don't need to spend a lot of money to grow food and that is my goal here is to grow food that tastes good and is healthy. Now one of the side effects that um, started to happen here since I switched to a growing without any pesticides or herbicides is that um, it's creating a little wildlife habitat. I have so many butterflies and wildlife that show up here. Just the other day there was a um, Cooper's hawk that was eating a snake and there's also a raccoon that comes by and he eats all the grubs for me. So that's awesome. The only thing I have to do is pay him a tax of a couple tomatoes and an ear of corn every once in a while. And now it's time for the legend of the owls. A few months ago, a couple of owls moved in under our unfinished roof. So we got them a house and the female ended up moving in right away. But the male kept hunting and bringing her lizards and geckos and other snacks. And then something weird happened. She started doing this weird thing with her throat. She was like, and she kept doing it. I looked over at the house and a little guy came out, but she kept doing it. And then another one. And check this out. Here comes mama with a fast DoorDash delivery. So the reason that I have these is for the owls. I put them around the yard because they like to perch up on these and survey the area. And that's how they hunt. I was just digging a hole for my fig tree and I hit the mother load of cinder blocks. Enjoy the sounds of the cicadas in full stereo. It's funny because I needed cinder blocks to elevate my rain barrels. So thanks for watching and um, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.